Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Wednesday afternoon, of course. We are the week before Christmas, so if you haven't started your Christmas shopping, you better get moving because you're going to run out of time. Um, I'm usually a procrastinator, but I've been doing pretty good so far this year. But weather today, not bad. We have mostly cloudy skies across the region. Uh, and as we get through the next couple days, we're going to get some rain chances, which are going to start to roll in. All right, so today we are going to cover the rain moving in uh, mainly tomorrow night into Friday. And then we'll also look at the holiday because we have another pretty big storm system, which is going to roll in tomorrow morning. Um, I'll do another YouTube between about 10 and 11 with superior roofing and construction, of course, uh, uh, they're four state premier roughing contractor, they're family owned and located in Joplin, Missouri. They did my roof about a year ago, but, uh, with them, I'm going to do another giveaway. So it's going to be from weather 2020 and superior roofing. I think we're going to do a hundred dollars this time. And most likely again, I'll guess rainfall amounts at the Joplin airport with the round that we get tomorrow night into Friday. So the rules on that will be is you'll have to like Superior Roofing's Facebook page. You'll have to subscribe to my YouTube page. And then on my YouTube page, you put how much rain you think we're going to get. And this will be tomorrow night into Friday. Don't do it yet. Wait until tomorrow. Um, and then we'll see who wins. We I, we did have a winner last week. I talked to the person. I didn't know if he wanted me to say his name. So uh, he won the $50 gift certificate from the Christian Hetty Foundation. Might as well give a little bit during Christmas. All right, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on. We'll also do your long range forecast today as well. A lot of clouds across the region. There's not a whole bunch going on, just a lot of mid and upper level clouds. But here's our next wave. This is rain down through parts of Arizona and New Mexico. This is the batch that is going to roll through Thursday night through the first half of Friday. So that's one that we're going to do the contest on. And then a stronger storm system right off the coast of California. You can see the spin just to the west of San Francisco. And that wave is going to rotate in uh, Christmas Eve, giving us showers and thunderstorms. Of course, remember, these are all in line with the LRC pattern. If you want to check out weather2020.com, it's a pretty cool website. Um, it, the next big system that I'm, it, we'll talk about in long range, but the next bigger system in the pattern looks to be right around January 4th and 5th. All right, let's go through time. Just cloudy skies rest of today into Thursday morning. During the day on Thursday, there could be a few random little showers trying to pop up in Missouri, southeastern Kansas. But look at the batch of rain, Dodge City, Wichita, Oklahoma City. So this is Thursday afternoon, everybody across the board, uh, mainly into the mid to upper 50s to near 60. Look how the rain increases Thursday night, so by 9 30, 10 o'clock, it starts to get into the metro of Kansas City, Topeka, Lawrence, Joplin, Tulsa, Oak City, Wichita. You're all getting rain, also starting to push into northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Rogers, Springdale. Let's continue Thursday night into Friday morning. Batches of rain. I think a lot of this rain is going to produce a quarter to a half an inch. So at this time, 4 a.m. Friday, we still have rain. Uh, Topeka, St. Joe, Kansas City, Springfield, Joplin, down through northwest Arkansas. As we continue on Friday, the heaviest batch of rain pushes towards St. Louis as we go through the day. And most of us mainly just cloudy skies. We are going to break out and see some sunshine out across central western Kansas and central and western Oklahoma. All right, let's go into the holiday. So Saturday, look at this, mainly a dry day, but showers and thunderstorms increase again. Saturday evening, especially Kansas and Oklahoma. Periods of rain Saturday night, really just about everybody. It looks like the snow will stay just north of the four state area into parts of Nebraska into the Dakotas. But if you're traveling, keep your eye on that. Let's go into Sunday afternoon. Showers, thunderstorms really from Joplin, Tulsa, northwest Arkansas, down toward Texarkana. And then just good old rain in Wichita, Topeka, Kansas City, Jeff City, Omaha. As we continue, so this is Christmas Eve and the Christmas morning, we start wet, Missouri and Arkansas, even eastern Kansas, eastern Oklahoma, a little bit of snow out toward Dodge City. So you guys may get a little bit of a white Christmas. Then as we go through the day on Christmas Day, by Christmas evening, we still have rain across Missouri and Arkansas. Uh, a good chunk of us had a white Christmas last year, not going to see it this year. 
Now this system just kind of sits and spins and as it pulls in a little bit cooler air by Tuesday, we may get a little rain snow mix. Topeka, Kansas City, Columbia down toward Joplin. So that is something that we'll keep our eyes on. Then finally, the storm system will exit by next Thursday. So that's kind of what we're seeing over the next week. Uh, it, mainly a cold week next week. We'll warm up a little bit by the second half of next week. All right, so New Year's Day until January 6th, a slow warming trend through the week, but we need to watch a system on the 4th, 5th, and 6th. That could be a rain over to snow situation, and that could pull in some much colder air right behind that storm system. So we're going to say a cold start for the first week of the 7th through the 13th. And we'll have some rain or snow chances on the 12th and the 13th. 14th through 20th, turning colder this week again with chances of rain snow on Monday and then a bigger system on the 18th and 20th. Of course, we're using the LRC pattern on this, uh, something that Gary Lezak and I have been developing for many, many, many years, decades, which is kind of crazy. All right, guys, comment section. Leave them in the comment section below. Of course, we'll do the contest tomorrow. Hope you have a great Friday or Friday, I wish, Wednesday afternoon and evening.